online friends is so much more interesting linguistically than I think people realize. Because when you're having a conversation with someone offline, the bulk of what you're doing is exchanging words, sure, but everything other than the actual words themselves is also crucial to communication. Like for example, your intonation or your volume or your facial expression or even the amount of eye contact you're making, they're all dripping with meaning. And given all that, communicating online should be much easier, right? Because you don't need to worry about any of that stuff. You can just focus on the words themselves. And that's what I thought too for a very long time, but then something interesting happened. I've had a very active social life on the internet since about 2017 when I was 14. And I remember very clearly trying to introduce my in-person friends to my online friends a few times and it never Never really worked out. And a lot of times my in-person friends would say, oh, they seem really cool, but I just don't really know when to jump into a discussion. It's all happening so fast. And I thought to myself, hmm, why do I know when to jump into a discussion? Because when you're talking to someone in person, you can kind of get a sense of when it's your turn to speak, right? Like if the person you're talking to just stops talking and then it's quiet for a few seconds and they look at you like, <laughs> usually that's a signal. But there's also a certain set of assumptions that you can rely on sharing with the person you're speaking to just by virtue of existing in the same place at the same time. In other words, you have some sort of common ground. Even if you have nothing in common with the person you're talking to, you can at least say, hey, how about that tree over there? But on the internet, you can spin a common ground out of pretty much anything you could possibly think of. And I think that's kind of intimidating for a lot of people. Because you can do that in real life too, of course, but I think on the internet, it's a lot more socially acceptable to just walk into a group chat like, guess who just had a burger? And then all of a sudden you have 500 messages coming at you about burgers and burger toppings and where do y'all think relish came from? Like who was the first person to decide, yo, let's grind up this pickle and put it on a burger? Like what's up with that? So how do you know when it's your turn to chime in? Well, as it turns out, online communication is just as complicated as offline communication. There's just different stuff going on. Instead of saying, hey, so-and-so, what do you think about this? You can just ping them or respond to a comment they made six months ago to get their attention. And similarly, instead of using intonation and facial expressions to say, wow, this song is so good, you can just send a gif of a guy floating. Suffice to say, I think there's a lot of research to be done about the pragmatics of speaking online. I think it's a very interesting topic, and if you have any thoughts on it, I welcome them below. For the time being, oh, one no, I'll have to say goodbye, Neri, because I'm logging off of the computer. Uh...